Uh, we're here right in front of the Nigeria High Commission, just behind me there. Um, today is, uh, we have a candlelight vigil today. Um, you know, we're in solidarity with um, what's going on in Nigeria, really. Um, talking about lives that have been lost in Nigeria as a result of the, you know, very recent uh, Boko Haram incidents. Men and women of Nigeria who stand here today, I would like you to realize that what we're doing here today is very similar to what happened in Nehemiah chapter 1. Nigeria is at Jerusalem. And, and they said to me, the survivors who are left in the captivity and in the provinces are in great distress and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem is also broken down and its gates are born with fire. And this is literally the situation in some parts of Nigeria where walls have been pulled down, churches have been burnt down, buildings have been burnt down, people have been killed, and all kinds of atrocities have been, have been perpetuated in the name of extremism and all sorts of extreme belief systems and worldviews. And we stand here today, like him, to mourn for what is happening in Nigeria. We are not happy with what is going on, we are not rejoicing with what has happened. And we, as has already been said, are not wrestling with flesh and blood. But we know that we wrestle against principalities and powers. Peace we reign in Nigeria. Peace we reign in Nigeria. Peace we reign in Nigeria. We cry out on behalf of the women, on behalf of the children, on behalf of men who have been killed, who have been assassinated. We cry out on behalf of churches that have been bombed, oh God. We cry out upon the land of Nigeria. Arise, oh God. Arise, oh God. Arise, oh God. Help our leaders to be righteous. Help our leaders to rise up to the occasion in the name of Jesus. What we are doing is very powerful, very prophetic. I've seen the violence, I've seen the bloodshed. I know what I'm talking about. Ever before Boko Haram came, this has been going on for a long time. There are Christians right now in, in the north of Nigeria, they are wondering whether this Christianity will really work because they feel nobody is speaking for them. You are speaking for them. The blood of Jesus is speaking for them. This land will speak because we represent them in this land, in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh Lord God Almighty, arise and fight for your nation. Arise and fight for Nigeria. Amen. What is happening today in Nigeria did not catch us unaware because the Lord has spoken about this. A good number of us that God has revealed to us have spoken about many publications from 2009 about this issue. But of this, at the same time, we must understand when uh, Paul was raised by the devil to stand against the church what happened in acts chapter 9 was that jesus arrested him we ask for the arrest of the head of the boko Haram. we ask oh god that all their militants as you converted saul and changed him in a night you will appear to them and you will transform their lives and you will change the message of their lives to the message of the cross father we ask you that you will cause your light to shine around them exactly as Paul encountered. Father, we lift our voice up as one. We ask for a visitation over the nation of Nigeria. The Bible says we should arise and shine because our light has come. Yes, yes. Lord, we know the light is there, we know the shining is there, but Father, I pray that you will strengthen us as Christians to arise, yes. to awake and arise and stand yes, and defend the faith for which Christ has saved us. Yes, Lord. Lord, as we go, let us go walking in the unity of spirit yes. and in the bond of peace.